If you find a gun, stop, don't touch, leave the area, tell an adult. Um, okay. And if the kids walk out of here and remember that, uh, my job is done. Four easy steps, easy for kids to remember. They were listening, it wasn't mommy telling them, it was a police officer, so it was great. I brought my husband Scott, my eight-year-old Jared, and my six-year-old Tyler. I wanted them to come because they're getting to the sleepover age, and we don't have guns in our house, but I don't know what their friends have in their house, and I want them to know how to react if they see a gun. He has two, two younger brothers, both boys, and so, <laughs> You know, uh, it's going to come a time they're going to be curious if his brothers find one of the uh, one of the weapons in the house that he's going to be the one to step up and say, uh, "Hey, I'm going to stop this before you know something bad happens." Uh, and a lot of people would say, "Well, I don't have a firearm in my house. Why should I know that?" Well, you don't. You may not have a gun, but what if your child's playmate's family has a gun? And you know, it, it needs to be a topic of conversation. This, this problem is uh, kids. Their parents are afraid to tell them about it because they don't agree with it. And when they do come across, they don't understand that it, it, it has one purpose, to destroy, maim, and mutilate. There are 323 million people in this country. The best estimate, there are 300 million firearms in private hands. If you do the math, that means there's a lot of firearms floating around in houses, you know, in the hands of people who 99% are law-abiding. Um, but, you know, it, it just needs to be out there. Most children don't know what to do. They know they only know what they've seen on TV and movies, which is probably exactly the wrong thing to do. So our goal is to arm them with information, uh, not to touch guns, you know, to notify someone if they find a gun, and to basically leave it alone. If you see a gun, just don't touch it and run away. With my situation or our situation, I do tend to be gone often overseas and such and they're by themselves so I want to make sure that they understand when I'm not around if they do see a firearm at somebody at a friend's house they understand that it is a dangerous thing it's not just uh, a toy to be played with so we, we looked at pictures of toys and we noticed the markings the orange the different colors bright you know nerf guns and and then we looked at uh, real weapons and the evidence and they were just painted exactly the same. There was, uh, I think, one of the guns, I, I, I didn't know that it was fake. And, and I, I'm around firearms all the time. <laughs> he brought guns and he painted them so he could trick us. But I kind of noticed what, when he painted them or not painted them. To have a child playing with a gun, it's very important, a toy gun, that they understand that, hey, if you find something like this, don't point it at anybody, even if you think it is a toy. Just walk away if you're not sure if it's real or not. It's a good message. I mean, you, uh, you can't say that people don't need to hear this.